Hello and welcome back to Aim On Air. My name's Liam. Today I'm pleased to be hosting Sean Day, Managing Director from Greatland. Welcome back to the show, Sean. Hi, Liam, and thanks for having me on the program again. No problems at all. Pleased to have you on today uh, because you've announced that drilling has commenced at Ernest Giles. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about that, please? Yeah, look, we're really pleased. Uh, it's taken us about five years to get back on to Ernest Giles. Uh, we we did kind of say to people we thought we'd get onto the site this year finally. We've run it a little bit later into the year than, than I'd hoped, but the team's done a, a tremendous job to find a rig uh, which was not without its, uh, you know, without its challenges and then mobilise that safely and efficiently at short notice. So great to get that at site and drilling today. That's actually fantastic news. What, what do you expect to be doing whilst you're there on the ground uh, this time around? So it's a couple of diamond holes on Ernst Giles. The, the program going way back in time, I, I understand, was uh, just some kind of shallow uh, RC drilling or relatively shallow R RC drilling. So this, um, this will be better. It will, in terms of understanding the stratigraphy and extracting core, uh, we've obviously got the EIS, which is WA State Government or Western Australian State Government uh, co-funding on this. So, look, we're, we're excited to be going into what I think is one of our premium exploration opportunities. Makes a lot of sense. Thank you. So am I right in saying that you've got to put these two diamond drills in at, at angles as opposed to vertically, and that's going to give you just a bigger picture of what's really going on down there? Yeah, that that's correct. So... Uh, my understanding is we'll we'll put these in. We'll we'll cover some some terrain. If we do get an inset, we'll we'll hopefully have a better appreciation of of its dimensions, its true width. So I I think that's that's really helpful. But also this time we'll be extracting core. It's it's an Archean greenstone, which I think I've I've mentioned to viewers before. That's responsible for probably about seventy percent of the gold pore. In Western Australia, they're they're tightly it's tightly held ground. Typically, these arcane green stones, they're heavily drilled. So to be on one which is, is effectively unexplored, is is a a really exciting uh, opportunity for us. And yes, yeah, certainly the the geos in the team or the geologists in the team have been champing at the bit to get on Ernest Giles for for some time. And is there any extra planned work to do at all while you're there, or is it just strictly cause this time around? Look, it will be that that two hole program. Or, although, as as always with us, we'll then take the opportunity to to recalibrate, understand the stratigraphy, and and plan our, our next program. Undoubtedly, there will be follow up programs on Ernst Giles. Um, although we start with the Meadows project, which we we do like the look of. There are multiple high high quality targets there we'll be um, working through, but certainly we're kind of well we're optimistic about all our programs, but but this is as good as any. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Sean Day, managing director of Greatland. Thank you very much for coming on to the show today. Hey Liam, really appreciate being on the program again. Uh, thanks again. Thank you very much, Sean. Uh, until next time, my name is Liam, and you've been watching Aim on Air. We're specialising connecting companies with shareholders. Is what we do best. Thank you.